Hey guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. How's everybody doing? Welcome back. Um, well, I'm back. As, as you can tell, it's been over a week, so that's that's a long time not to not to talk to you guys. And I didn't really have anything in specific that you know I was talking about today. I was working on a project for a friend, and I thought, well, perfect timing. <laughs> so I'm making a mini book, and um, here are some of the pages that I've already compiled. It's just a book with um, little pictures of botanicals and poetry about flowers. So here's all these. And then I have another page to cut out, another page, another page of pages, and also a cover. And I made several covers. So there's there's this one and that one and then this one and then these are these can be I figured if I wanted to like have just plain then those could be plain those are actually end papers or I could line the opposite side if I wanted to so I'm 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 still deciding um, so I'm cutting these out. As you can see, I printed these on parchment. Come on, camera. And I don't. You can you see the the teeny tiny, barely visible gray line? Well, those are my little cheat sheets for cutting to make sure that the pages will all be the same size. So I'm going to go cut these apart, um, just in strips like that and cut cut on the gray line all the way around and then cut it in strips. The um, the gray lines that go vertically up and down, those are to help me to fold it correctly. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I made my, my strips here. And I'm not gonna get out the scoreboard because I don't want to, um, I don't want to accidentally cut through the paper. That's why I made the little the little cheat sheet guidelines on here for myself. Okay, let me I want to get that even, so I turn it over and then use the bone folder to make a nice crease. And this is the way it's got to be folded. So it's got to be folded like a like an N because then these get folded toward that fold line. So that one gets folded back. And then this fold line meets with that fold line. And crease that down. And then this one meets with that one and gets folded back like that. So now we have an accordion like this, but it starts it starts with a V shape and it ends with a V shape. So that's the way I want to put these together. This one um, is kind of the front because this is like the title page, but um, the rest of them you can, you know, I'm just going to mix and match because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They don't have page numbers on them or, or anything like that. So I hope everybody is doing okay. Uh, just trying to get back into the swing of things. I've got um, still yet a mountain, mountain, mountain of uh, conversation, Etsy conversations and, and emails to go through. Um, I've done some of them. I've done a lot of them, but there are still many, 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 many more. So um, I'm trying to get through those. It's, you know, a lot of people are asking questions or, you know, stuff like that. And it's not like I can just, you know, I don't have like a canned answer that I could, because everybody want, you know, wants a, needs a different answer. It's not all the same stuff. So that's why it takes me longer because I'm I'm talking to each person as far as whatever question they have. So 
So I'm still folding, folding. This is probably like watching paint dry, right? This is awful. <laughs> but I am, I will try to be quick and then I'll put this together. We'll see if this works the way I want it to work. I think the important thing is to make sure that the top and bottom, that you line it up and it's not like folded askew, but that it's nice and even. One more, una mas. So I hope everybody um, is okay this week and you're slaying your dragons or you're you're dancing with your dragons and you know coming to terms with your dragons my dragons I should just you know I have to go into horrific detail or anything but my dragons are like medical issues so most of my dragons I'm gonna have to learn to live with because that's just the way the cookie crumbles but I know a lot of you can relate with that, and um, you know, what do you do? I can go stick my head in the sand, and you know, that's fun. <laughs> but life must go on, and, and uh, you find joy in the, in the good days, and the good times, and friends, and family, and Try not to sweat the, the small stuff, and I guess we're all going to have good days and, and bad days, and we just learn to take the bad with the good, right? So there we go, another one. So now I have six in all, and I printed these just on ivory parchment paper. Um, the brand I use, the link is in the description box below if you want to see what it is that I use. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. It's just I want this one to be the first little signature and I want this one to be the last because it's got my name on it. So that's the only that's the only thing here. So I'm going to kind of stack these up. Now comes the fun part, she says. Ugh. <clears throat> and that is gluing all these mamma jammas together because oh, it's got to be done though it's got to be done so this is what I do stick those in there I I need I need I need a lot of things piece of parchment paper so this is what I do um, I don't have a glue stick on me I don't know what happened to my glue sticks and I have this stuff, but it's horribly sticky, and I, oh, I guess I could use a paintbrush, I suppose. Let's see if that works. I'll see if this works. I'll grab a, grab a paintbrush. So this one I'm going to leave free, okay? And they're going to get glued together, so this one gets glued together, and this one gets glued together, and then the two outer flaps stay free to attach to the next one. So it's basically these four inner panels here and I'm just going to paint this really sticky glue really 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 like this could be like this could be a weapon. You could weaponize this uh, stick flat glue absolutely it'd be like it'd be like a you know like glue traps those horrible oh i hate those things no no judgment if you use them i just oh i hate them um i think i have a little ptsd from being a little kid and coming upon you know a poor little mouse stuck in a glue trap i, I don't want to talk about it i don't want to talk about it i want to talk about it Okay, good thoughts. Happy, 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 happy thoughts. But this is what this reminds me of. Could you imagine going up against an enemy with stick flat glue? Just lay it down on the ground and and they would never move. They never they never move. And I'm just gonna take my bone folder and 
make sure that those little pages are stuck down so that kind of looks like this and then you attach you'll attach or I sorry not you not you me <laughs> I'll attach the next one to that so there there's number number one I'm gonna go ahead and do all of these and um, and then that way I can attach them all together okay I've got all of my little strip signatures put together and wait a minute, one two three is there one? Oh, here's one <laughs> um and now i'm going to take the first one and to the last flap i will attach the flap of the adjacent one that comes after it at least that is the plan that is that is the plan. And then they will all be kind of stuck together in one big long accordion. Here is the last one to glue into the page accordion thingy. I'm just trying to make sure that the glue gets on the entire um, flap from the fold all the way to the edge because you don't want any gaps because you'll see them on the um, top or the bottom of the page. So I'm just going to lay this one against this one and I just kind of line it up. All right. Okay. So now we have all the pages all put together. I'm thinking double-sided sticky tape would rock. I'm thinking a glue stick would really, really make this a lot easier than this her, this glue, this sticky, sticky, sticky glow. It's like it's like cobweb sticky. Okay. So now I'm going to take the cover and I think I'm going to line it with a scrap of this parchment paper just to make it a little more heavy duty. And I printed this on the Hammer Mill uh, digital cover copy, color cover copy, <laughs> link description box below. Um, so that it was a heavier, a thicker um, cardstock, so that the cover would be heavier than the paper than the pages, you know. But I'm going to go ahead and line it with the um, parchment paper. And I love printing on parchment paper because I don't know, you don't have to tea stain it, and it's nice and flat. And, I don't know, it just, it's just kind of nice. And of course, I thought about making another book, and I still might with one of the other covers, that just has blank parchment um, pages. Like a little teeny tiny writing journal. So I'm just going to stick that down on there. And hope that the rest of the world doesn't stick to my hands sure the edges are nice and smooshed. It is a technical term. Smooshed. I'm going to give this a, just a second to dry. I don't even know how long this stuff takes to dry. It's redonkulous. Redonkulous. How long? How long does it take to dry? It doesn't say. It doesn't say. That's not encouraging. Yeah, double-sided sticky tape. Great, too. 
I have some around here somewhere. I just didn't want to take the uh, time to go find it because who knows where it is. And you get then then you get sucked into a rabbit hole of other things. That's what happens to me when I go have to go look for stuff. I end up I end up getting sidetracked and waylaid by something else I see, something shiny. Something shiny. Okay. Now on this cover I tried to make the spine area obvious so that I could score where the spine is. If this glue never dries, it'll just be like a little fly trap. A little a, a little nick trap. Just just walk around with this attached to my fingers for the rest of my life. Okay, I think I got it trimmed up. So you can see See the little, little spine area there in the middle? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this. As you can probably see, it's about the same width. So I am going to grab my scoreboard. I should go wash my hands. If I was a smart person, I would go wash my hands. I'm just going to score on one of those lines and then I'm going to I'm just going to score close to one of the other other lines here like that and I'm going to fold and fold so it makes a little a little book cover spine of sorts. I'm not going to bone folder it all down yet because I'm gonna do like a test like a test run here. And then I just kind of make sure that they even up like that. Now I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick because wow. Okay. So now I'm going to put that right in like this and these the front this front free flap and the back one will get glued down to the inside of the cover and they're going to have to be trimmed a little bit and that's that's totally cool that's, that's totally cool man so that's kind of what it's going to look like when it's finished. About like this. Make a little clip. I'm just going to put that together like that. I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint this flap here. Just gonna push that up against the little spine area. Make sure that the the pages are even, like there's an even amount of space at the top and the bottom. Like by turning it this way and checking the gap on either side to make sure that it's centered in there from top to bottom. And then I'm just gonna close it. Let that catch that page. And then we'll put the clip on this side. Hold that all together. Just hold it. Hold it. Yeah. 
clip that and then this back edge gets now I will take that clip out and fold that around I'm just going to let this dry for a minute. We will come back. We will come back to this. Just want to make sure it gets all. That is a worthless clip. before it gets free. I have, I have a feeling if it got free, we'd all be in trouble. And I don't have a cup of water. Okay, so there's another thing I'm working on. When I was um, back in Indiana for my uncle's funeral, my auntie had a, um, an autobiography book that my grandmother had written about her life when she was, I think she was 17. She was still in high school. So, um, oh, so cool. So all I had was my phone. And so I took pictures of each page. There's like 50 pages. And um, I took pictures with them. And it's going to be a labor of love because they're, the paper that they're on is super old typing paper. And so it's, you know, it's discolored. And, and I want it to print nicely on whatever I want to print it on. And I just chose a sample on, again, the parchment. And this is one of the pages. And these were actual photographs, but of course I took, you know, just took a picture of them. And thank goodness my phone is decent. I should have taken my big girl camera. I was kind of stressed out and, okay, I was a lot stressed out and it just really wasn't, wasn't something I was thinking about. So I, you know, I took them in the highest resolution that I had and the hard part is getting everything separated from the page and getting them on a white background so that they print nicely and there's no like shadows and smudges and stuff. So like everybody that saw it, we were, we we're all there, like we we're all there because <laughs> there's only one copy. Everybody's like, oh, you make books, Nick. Yeah, yeah, I do. So once I get all these pages edited to where they're printable, um, I will send each of the family a copy of the digital pages so they can print them however they, they'd like to. And then I will probably also make some books. And this is the thing about books is that, you know, you have a book, of course, let me, let me let me get, let me grab a book. Okay. So here, here's a book. Okay. And you open it up and, and of course books come in signatures, right? You know, they come in, you know, three or four or five pages folded in half and then attached that way. So when you want to collate your pages so that they will end up correctly in order, um, you have to do, it's called imposition and it's, it's a way to print your pages so you can print a full spread, but it's not going to be, you know, one, two, three, four, because you're going to be collating these pages, right? So, um, I'll try to explain this in a, I'm sure most of you guys understand what I'm talking about. I'm just, so let's just say here's, here's a couple of, you know, here's an example. So let's say these are, you know, two page spreads that you're going to be putting together. And this one will go inside of this one, right? Well, page one has to be on the back side of this one. Page two has to be on the opposite side of page one. Then on this leaf of paper, this has to be three. 
the opposite side has to be four, five, then on the back of that is six, and then this one is this again, and it's gotta have seven, eight, right? So my grandmother actually had this in like a, um, not a ring binder, but one of those ones with the little brads that spread. So each of the pages had, had um, two or three holes, and then the brad went through it, and, uh, and it folded down. So they were just, each page was a loose leaf. Well, because I am who I am, that's just not how I'm going to do it. Um, I, I want to actually uh, collate it like a book. So once all the pages are finished and I find out exactly how many there are, then I will be able to separate this into signatures. And let's just say, for example, that there's 50 pages. I could do 10 signatures with five pages each. Um, and then I have to figure out, okay, if I have, this is only two, right? If I have five pages, what's got to be printed on what side so that it all, when you, you know, lay them all together and fold them in half, that they'll actually be, this is what I do to myself. So there are, there are, there is software you can get that, that does this imposition for you where you can, um, do that. And I do, um, I do have several, I need to just see if they have it in there. Cause like I have Adobe and design and I've got some different things. I've got publisher and that kind of stuff. So I'll have to see if that is part of the software. Let's hope if any of you know, let me know. Um, but I know you can, you know, if you send pages off to like a, a book binder, like a printery, they will do the imposition, you know, they will figure that out for you and then it gets all printed, you know, like it's supposed to in a proper fashion. Okay. So here, here is my little, my little winky book. See, it even has like a little hollow spine in there. See that? So, um, this, this was my, this was the first one I was putting together and I, I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to do too much extemporaneousness on it. I didn't want to go too extra because, you know, it's, they're all sticking together anyway. Um, I'm going to have to like put wax paper in between these while they dry with the weaponized glue, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to go get a glue stick because mama ain't got time for this. Mama wants to throw the glue up against the wall. Of course it would stick and then I'd never get it off. And then it would just, you know, stick against the wall and mock me for the rest of my life. I glue like I paint. If you give me glue and a paintbrush, I, it's just like I do when I paint a wall. Y you don't want me to help you paint because I make more of a mess than, because I want it done yesterday. Are any of you like that? <laughs> There's the ADHD uh, peeking its head out. That's, that, that's what that is. You want everything like that done yesterday. Um, but back to my, my preview, what I was talking about, um, before you glue the, you know, those front flaps to the inside covers, you could, you know, you could put a little piece of cheesecloth in there to kind of stick out and be all cutesy wootsy right? And then you'd have this little fliffity fluffity out there. And then you have this, what I think is like the most adorable thing ever is this because you open it up, it's got a title page. It's got like a preface. And then we go into poetry that you can actually read. You might need a magnifying glass, but you can read it and flowers. And each, each page spread has a flower and a, and a poem. So kind of cute, kind of cute, kind of maddening. The glue, the glue is maddening that I'm going to just, I'm going to just alter my, my gluing situation, but I'm talking, man, there's a lot of pages. Let's see, one, two, 16, 17. So there's 34 pages in here and they're all front to back. This is another way I could do it though, huh? All those, I heard you yelling at me, all those people out there that were like, why don't you make this thing like you made this thing? 
So that might have to happen. So I would probably do them like this and I would do one page here and one page here and then fold them in half and then glue them. Oh, you gotta glue them. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know guys. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Unless I just want to sew each signature in individually. I'll, th I'll let you know. I'll let you know what the squirrels allow me to do because I get real impatient sometimes when it comes to something that's a little overwhelming. So I just need to, I just need to think about it and not dive in just yet. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So I hope you, I hope you like the little, the little book. I'm assuming that, um, you know, I could have put this on some heavier duty stuff, but I don't know. I just kind of wanted a little, it's not soft. It's not hard. It's kind of in the middle. Depending on what kind of glue you use, it will be stiffer. Depending on what I printed it on, it would be stiffer or looser. But anyway, I think it's adorable. I think it's adorable. Like I said, I might finish up and use these. I might just make some plain, some plain parchment paper um, that, that you can write on, maybe. I'll see. I'll think about it. I will think about it. This glue takes for flipping ever to dry. So I've got to like leave this alone because if I don't, it'll come apart. See if you, if you pull on them, see how they, see how the pages want to come apart. That's, that's no bueno. So I'm just going to leave this alone. Leave it alone, Nick. Leave it alone. I'm going to maybe clip a few of these together so that they And then I'm going to leave them alone. Like I said, I don't know how long this glue takes to dry. It, we, it may, we may be, you know, it may be a long time. We may be waiting like a super long, super long time. <sighs> glue sticks don't take that long. Or double-sided sticky tape. That had to be a lot of tape, though. Because you'd have to go around the whole, the whole box of each flap. I don't know. I'll think about it. All right, guys. Well, um, that's it for today. This short little video, I think, is going to end up being kind of long because um, because I kept like fiddling around with stuff. Um, welcome to my world, right? So um, I'm getting back, like I said, into the swing of things, and I will be I will be back soon with another video. Today is Thursday. Um, I gotta catch up on emails. So if you've emailed me or convoed me and I haven't responded back, it's because I hadn't got there yet. So I'm working on it. I, I'm working on it. Um, I guess that's it for today, guys. I hope everybody um, has a great evening or morning or whatever it is, wherever you are. And I hope your dragons are are properly afraid of you today. Whether you are slaying them or dancing with them, you just step on their toes, man. You step on their toes. You show them who's boss. Show them who's boss. That's what I'm trying to do today is show my, show my dragons who's boss. All right, guys. I will catch you soon. Thanks so much for stopping by and letting me ramble and make something fun and, you know, chat with you a minute. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.